My next project is to make some wings for a doll that I'm going to be um, dressing. And I thought that the wings in the indie art cartridge would work really well, seeing as that was our free cartridge with our gypsy. And what I did was, this is like the, um, it's in the third row, because you don't get a handbook. It's in the third row all the way over, and it's the um, shifted image. So um, what I did is I took... Um, I believe the wing is facing, it's just this half of the, of the wing. And um, what I did is I got another half and I um, flipped it. And then what I did is I welded it together. But not only did I weld it together, but I had to rotate it in so this bottom part down here would um, overlap so I could weld it. So instead of it being upright, they're together. And because I welded it in a way, it worked really well for this part right here. And um, I actually cut this out at seven point, or I'm sorry, five point seven nine by eight point four seven. And um, this is also cut out of a uh, sparkly aqua, light aqua paper. And I cut them out twice. And the reason for that is because then what I did is um, there's also the um, the um, shifted, there's a, another image that um, is just a blank image without all the designs inside of it. And um, actually, because I was on the Gypsy, I didn't know that. So what I did was I actually took the same wing and I hid all these pieces um, so that I could have a piece to go in between these two. And I cut that out of vellum. And so this vellum is going to go between these two pieces and I'm going to be creating wings for my doll. I just wanted to share. Okay, so I just did here the one side and I did use my large Exron um, so that I could get um, the tape throughout and um, because I need it to be a little bit sturdier. So I've got this on the one side and then I'm going to put it on the other side as well because right now you just see the white. So I'm making it double sided. Okay, so I just added to the back side and of course my Exron um, decided to run out of tape and I had to use regular tape anyway for the back and I just made sure I put a lot of glue on that and it seemed to work fine. So now it is all ready to place on my dowel um, for my wings and I will show you what that looks like when I finish with the dowel outfit. You know after thinking about it really the best way to make sure that this is going to the um, vellum is going to fit between here and not be too large or not work. Really your best bet is to copy paste um, the first thing that you make and um, take out these, um, hide these things like I said because there's a good chance if you go to put these two pieces together even if you go to use your um, you know the solid piece you're not going to get it to be exactly the same. Now there's a, you also could do it on the second layer and make sure that it fits so that would work too. So there are two things that you can do. Copy pasting was just the easiest thing for me to do and that is what I did. I just wanted to share that tip. And this is the uh, wings on my doll and what they look like. Just wanted you to see they um, work really well to do that type of um, thing with your Cricut.